Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to talk about uh, left arm power meters, you know, the inexpensive ones. I'm always looking for a good deal and uh, I've never really been one to play with power meters too much. I never used one to cycling for years and years and years until a few years ago. My son who races uh, at college right now, he's got three disciplines between his cross country mountain bike and his uh, road bike and his cyclocross bike. And uh, he's got a coach, so he needed power meters. So uh, in searching, I started out with stages and uh, he's got stages across the board on his bike. I thought oh, it might be kind of cool to, to play around with a power meter, just to play with the numbers and stuff like that. Though I don't really have any reason to. I, I don't race uh, anymore. I have raced in the past, but not a, not a lot. I would never consider myself a racer for sure. I'm a regular sort of club rider sort of guy. Uh, but I, I picked up a 4i power meter um, and that thing has been absolutely great. So I picked up this bike back here recently, a few months ago, and I said, you know what, let me go ahead and I need to change the crank arms out on it because they were not, not the right length for me. I bought this bike on Facebook Marketplace uh, and some things had been changed up on it slightly. Uh, so I went ahead and I ordered up uh, a, a 170 crank arm and I said, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna find a power meter. Well, in case you didn't know, if you haven't been paying attention to this sort of stuff, Stages is no longer in business. So they went out officially in April. Uh, there is some talk of a subsidiary of Giant picking them up and uh, bringing them back to life. And that's supposed to happen this month sometime, but I have not heard anything different on that. But Stages is done. So there's no more refurbs there. There's no more service. There's nothing. If you go to their website, it just says out of stock. Nothing's been updated in forever. They actually stopped updating their social media platform like over a year ago. And now if you look at 4i, I, I got a very good deal on my 4i unit that was also a, um, a trade-in and then they, they add a power meter to it and then they resell it. Uh, I've never paid more than 250 for one of these crank side, uh, left, left crank arm power meters, which is an absolutely outstanding you know, value for power meters. Because if you've looked, the pedal ones from Garmin are anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 if you're going single sided or dual sided, and then you've got the quark units and, and whatnot. They're very, very expensive. So power meters are very expensive. So the best deal out there is the non-drive side crank arm power meters. So I came across in my research for a power meter for this bike. Again, I'm looking to be at a certain price point. 4i has, has had to bump their prices up a little bit and they don't have any competition from stages anymore. And the other problem that both stages and 4i ran into is there's a, uh, um, a, a safety concern in the U.S. So they were forced to stop selling them in the U.S. because the batteries are a choking concern for children. Um, I don't know about you, but you know, I don't know. It's pretty difficult to get that little cap off to begin with to put the battery in and out, let alone having your kid manage to do it or be gnawing on your crank arm or something like that. But whatever. You can still get 4i power meters, but you have to order them from like Canada or overseas and have them shipped over here to the U.S., uh, unless somebody happens to have them in stock, it's going to sell them to you. But they are also on a, a holding pattern here in the U.S. for U.S. Uh, stock. So I came across this company called XKD. Where's my box? So that'd be that one right there. So this company produces power meters, and obviously they're out of China. And when I was looking around, I kept just finding crank-based power meters. So, or not crank -based, Well, I should say in the Spider. Uh, on the drive side power meters. So they make one that, you know, fits into the Altegra crevice and it looked like it was put in there with, uh, I don't even know, RTV silicone. And uh, they also make some spider ones that kind of fit the SRAM setup um, or the Cannondale type setup. But I did not find any non-drive side crank arm power meters uh, until I jumped into AliExpress and started poking around and then I found it. There it was. So I bought a uh, Shimano uh, 8,000 crank arm with this XKD power meter built into it. I've had it now for about two months. Uh, I don't ride this bike full time because it's not quite set up the way I want it to be set up yet, but I've been riding it and I did a time trial on it yesterday and just trying to get a feel of the power meter. So far, I can tell you that um, it's been great. It, it, it fires up uh, easily and connects to my Garmin easily. It's been very good at um, you know giving consistent readings, but those readings are high in my opinion. Now, I don't actually know if they're high, uh, but they're higher than my 4i. And my 4i, in comparison to my trainer, which is a Wahoo Kicker V5 version 5, uh, they're very similar. So they, they kind of produce very similar results. So that's what leads me to believe that this power meter, this XKD power meter, reads high. Um, how high? I'm not quite sure yet, but I would say on the order of maybe 8% higher than my 4i unit does or, or my uh, Wahoo Kicker unit does. 
but there's some cool things that you could do with that um, to kind of fix it. But I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can kind of have a closer look at what that unit looks like. And then I'll show you what the software looks like. So this does come with an app that's kind of cool. But I'll tell you, the app can be very glitchy. Uh, it kind of crashes pretty easily. Uh, but it does have some cool features. It did a firmware update the other day. I did a firmware update on it. And I could not tell if it was actually doing the update, if the update was done. You don't get any of that information. It just kind of is a, a, is a bit of a hot mess. But at the same time, it has a couple of cool features that some of the others simply don't offer. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the unit. So this is the XKD unit. It does have a little flashy light. I'll spin it around, see if I can get it to blink a little bit. I just saw it blink. So there's a little green, green flashy light that's located approximately right there. This is a rechargeable unit. So it comes with the recharger uh, in it. And um, uh, that's been great. The battery life has been excellent. You know, the number of times I've used it is probably, I don't know, somewhere on the order of 15 to 20 times. And in the battery life, I believe still reads 100%. We'll take a look at that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the app. So this is on an Android phone. So I'll show you what the app looks like on this. Probably shouldn't have shown you guys that, but that's okay. This phone is not technically active. All right. So when you first launch the app, it asks you to go in and uh, uh, hit the plus button. And it brings in all of your power meters, by the way. So your heart rate monitor, your power meter, it can read them all and give you some basic information on them. Uh, this is the XKD power meter. And you can see here that it has a couple of features that are kind of cool. So I can do, um, it tells me the battery, it tells me, you know, the offset of the crank, it gives me all this different information. If I come down to the bottom, you can see I can calibrate this, I can do a firmware upgrade on this, and I can do a power adjust on this. So this is where the part I was, that I was talking about that's a little bit unique. So I can come in here and click that and then adjust the power percent down or up. In this case, it needs to go down. So I'm going to actually, because I have not changed this yet from yesterday's ride, I'm going to try to do 92% and see if this doesn't bring me more in line with um, with my 4i unit. So they're, they're in parity. Now, does that matter? Uh, yes and no, you know, and I'll get into that in a second. But um, we could check for a firmware update. And it says where firmware is good. And then if I hit more, this is for the different types of styles of power meters that they have. But you can see here that you could do several things with, um, with this setup here. So it's kind of a cool app, though it has been a bit glitchy. It does tend to want to collapse and crash on you at random times. But it has helped me look at my 4i power meter, which by the way, a 4i doesn't appear to have an application that I've seen. So this has actually been helpful in looking at battery life and stuff like that on that unit as well. Um, so that's kind of what the software looks like. As I say, so far, so good uh, on what it's been doing. It came in this box right here. It has very limited paperwork. And by the way, the price I paid for this was $190 all in. It has gone up a few, back, a few bucks. Um, but this was on AliExpress. It's clean the way it's built. They really did a nice job of putting it together. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, so it's been really good. Now, well, let me put you all back. So does it matter if this power meter is accurate? Yes and no. So like in the case of my son who has a coach and he's up and coming and he's racing and all that, and that's why he's on stages across the board, um, it matters. You can't have one power meter that's way off from the other one. <clears throat> in my case, it doesn't really matter as much, but I am running a couple of different power meters, right? So when I ride this power meter on this bike, Garvin comes back and tells me, hey, you're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's really the same old, same old. You know, you just don't uh, gain results like that in a matter of one ride to the next. So, uh, it, but it doesn't really matter if this is your only power meter. If this is my only power meter that I'm running and it seems like it's not quite right, does that matter? Not really, right? It's relative to you. As long as it's giving you consistent readings and uh, you can show results as you get stronger or you can show results if you're losing fitness, uh, that power meter is going to give you results that, that can correlate to that. But if it was so far off that, you know, you're telling your buddies that you're a 350 watt rider on average, 
<laughs> at 170 pounds, you know, that might be a, a bit of a discrepancy for some people, <laughs> but uh, you can adjust it out just like I did and, uh, you know, make, make those corrections. Uh, I'll see if it works. I'll have to follow back up with you or drop something down in the description to let you know if that worked. And uh, I'll leave you one last thing. For all of you on eBay who are selling your used uh, uh, stages power meters for nearly new prices, just stop. They're out of business. How am I going to service it? What happens if I buy it from you used at $450 and the stupid thing doesn't work? Just stop. Just kidding. You guys do what you got to do. Happy riding out there. I appreciate you all wa uh, watching and uh, we'll see you again.